What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back, and it's time to head on into our next area. Yargul, the Unseen Village. Uh, so this is the second to last one here. Just hop on in. This area is pretty interesting, because there's a lot of enemies that can actually respawn here. So we're going to be doing a lot of kind of sprinting through uh, and killing killing certain enemies. Very similar to how the Chalice Dungeons work, in fact. So um, that, was, that was by design. <laughs> they kind of show you that. Uh, but ignore these guys for now. Instead, we're going to run on over here. We're going to grab a couple goodies real fast. we got a bloodstone chunk over here. I'm going to run down here for some more goodies. Uh, run over this way. Kill this guy first before he tries to boop you. And these enemies, they have that uh, the blood. They are respawning enemies just so we're all on the same page here. So you don't want to hang out for too long have a Iron Helm, an alternative look to the Yargul. Uh, this is for a shortcut. We're going to get this much, much later in this zone, but I'm just pointing it out now so y'all know where we're at. So everything should have screwed off and run down. Now what we want to do here is we are running past all of these guys and killing the Bell Lady. That Amidala up there will also try attacking if we take too long. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Huh. There she is, right up there. Just gotta make it up to her. Make it up to her. There we go, alright. Bell Lady dead, look at them all dying. Just boom, 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 boom. Well, not quite dying, but they're all weakened, and now that they're, they're weakened, we can just clean up. Pretty hectic area, right? <laughs> um, so if you want, you can go kill all these guys. There's not really any reason to, but you know, I'm gonna, I would, you know, I feel like I should mention it. Like, yeah, you can kill them all now and they're not gonna resurrect. Then Amidala will still try to grab you though. Just uh, so we're all on the same page here. Okay, uh, kill afterwards, uh, bolt gem or bolt, uh, Bolt gem? No. Oh, there's something in the cage here. Oh, yeah. Bolt gem. Uh, okay. So this next area... We're going to... Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Turn right, grab air rune, then open the door and go straight for the next bell. Turn backwards. Okay, so there's bolt paper over there. Don't drop there just yet. Turn in... Okay. So we're running here. This is another fast park, so we gotta kill another bell lady. We're going to grab the air rune. We're gonna open this. And we're gonna run. We're gonna get this open first. And now we're gonna kill her. Similar to before, everything now is weakened, so we can... Clean house. Damn, man got launched. this frenzy cold blood uh, now instead of continuing down this way we are going to take an alternate path to get down there so we got this opened up so that in case we die we can get back uh, but we're going to come up this staircase and we're going to drop back here we're going to get bolt paper um, I think that's it. Let's see. Grab the rune. Drop for some bullet paper, then head up to the right. Okay. So, there's more enemies right down here. This is another area where stuff will respawn. So, we're moving quick again. I go this way. I go up. Um, that's the staircase we could have come down. Go up here, make a right. And then right past this lady. 
we can drop down. Just letting them kind of... Letting them fall if they want to fall. And I'll drop down. Oh no, oh god, they're all coming down. Oh, that's fine. Kill the old, kill the bell lady first. I was hoping that they would have run off, but that did not happen. It's not supposed to go this hectic. This is not, this is not typically how this goes. Oh my goodness. that through but yeah so <laughs> so to recap you drop down here and then you run in here and then you kill the bell lady um after we kill the bell lady we want to drop down into the middle right here this will get us the upper cathedral key then we're gonna open this we're gonna swing to our left because there's a guy that's gonna try and gun us you can already kind of hear him going off alternatively you could wait here wait for this guy to approach and then we'll go kill this guy. Now one of the best arcane tools in the game, the Tiny Tinnitus. Uh, now we do not have enough arcane to use this, so we leveled up just to, to add a little bit of awareness here. Um, you know, 10, 15, 18, 15, 25, 15. Uh, we basically leveled up to 18 just to get access to Augur. We also have access to a lot of the utility type arcane tools with this. We have this for the arcane boost, uh, beast wars for beast bills, but this is utility. Um, going, and this is dodging, going for something like the tiny tinnitus or even the executioner's gloves, which we get later, those are your damage oriented tools. So think of them like, you know, this is just magic weapon. This is your, your crystal soul arrow. Um, they are really good. Arcane builds will typically go almost all the way up to 99 to really start seeing the damage on some of these tools. But the point I'm trying to make here is if you want to have a bigger investment into Arcane, you will get value out of using some of these high cost tools. The Tiny Tinnitus in particular, really strong, uh, does a straight line of lightning that can hit multiple enemies, works out very, very well. But so anyway, after all of that, um, we're gonna return up don't mind the hand, you can just run past him. And we're gonna kill any any uh, old ladies who are left over. It looked like almost all of them here followed me. And we're gonna finally use this Blood of Ariana. I've been hanging on to it for ages. And we're right in here for another chunk. stuck on a tree actually we'll show you this so after you kill these ladies what you got to do is you got to run down here but you can just run I mean, you can run whenever you want um, you don't need to fight all them and if you time it right you can actually get the laser to, to hit those ladies yeah like that one blow them up and get you some souls but anyway so do what you want kill them or don't kill them I'm not your supervisor but after you get down, we got a lantern, and he's already running, you little shit. Get back here. Goddamn skitters trying to escape. Okay. So, we are actually going to warp back real fast. Now that I have a... If that skitter's dead, we have enough to upgrade our weapon further. And that's also basically the, the Unseen Village. Uh, the rest of this area uh, is Yargul Chapel, otherwise known as the uh, Hypogene Jail that we were in earlier. Very well. There we go. Oh, I'm so close. I have one more I can eat. I figured I'd save it. It might... Oh, I can't do it while I'm talking to her anyway. Let's go upgrade first. 
And we also get a really, really good uh, gem here as well. It's like an 18% physical. Fortify. Yes. There we go. Seven more chunks. We're almost maxed out on our Ludwig. Welcome. Very well. Beautiful. Farewell. All right, back to Yargle Chapel. Uh, so this is, uh, it, it's identical to the area that we had covered previously. There are a couple new pieces of loot. This is also why we went through it so meticulously before. Uh, but regardless, uh, so we're going to go straight. And there's some enemies right over here, right at the start. So one of the first things we want to do is, let's see right here. There he is, plunge. Um, these enemies are also... Bell Maiden, so try and God damn dogs, get off of me. Well, they're all weakened. There we go. And we got one more guy right down here. All right, and in this next part, we have a battle. So there are three different hunters here. You can see one out there. You can see one in the corner. Um, this, this used to be our thing. As you can see, it's now decrepit. Um, what I would suggest doing is luring one of the hunters not me to do that we might actually let me see I'm trying to remember if we can actually we might be able to backstab the one there's one that's like down here we can backstab him that'll make things easier I don't know if we can though I didn't get a chance to test this before Nope, they got angry. All right, so as we're fighting the three hunters, um, you know, it's, you're, you're fighting three hunters, so good luck. Oh, that's the beast hunter. There's a beast hunter. There's a tenitrous hunter. I would suggest trying to pull them back here just so you have a more open area, and that way if you die, you're not, um, you know, shit out of luck. As you're closer and easier to get your stuff. Oh, boy, they're all coming now. And go until they want to back up. I can see they're already backing up. This guy is coming still, which is good. Seems like one, two, three auger seems to be the sweet spot with this weapon. Just wonder what's the fourth attack? Because the third attack is a heavy slam. Yeah, so three. It's a three-hit combo, and then I can go into Augur. So we can Claw Mark for him. It's the same thing we knocked out uh, Kane Hursty with. Hey, 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 come back. Where are you going? Come back here. Ah, oh, the old bamboozle. Uh, biggest thing here, watch out for his cannon. Two hunters down. Oh man, it's so beautiful. Because after that third hit, they want to attack, but the delay from the stagger is just enough that Augur can get out. Just very consistent viscerals to pulling that off. Okay, so with all of them done, we're going to go down to the mid-level next. So go down this way. Um, 
And there are some ice cream scoop ladies, so just be careful. Oh, no, never mind. That's, I'm getting confused. Uh, we have this beast thing here instead. Which is like, I guess it's like a corrupted werewolf. I don't, I don't know. It's been beastified. It was already a beast, but it's been more beasted. Beast blood pellets. Uh, we can pop right out here, similar to before. Y'all remember this little shortcut? Which is nice. All the stuff that we opened before, all the shortcuts and whatnot, those all still remain. Which is why we went through and did uh, so much stuff here last time. But we got the bloodstone chunks off of him. Uh, you can go out this way, and if you didn't kill Parl before, you can kill him now. Uh, but otherwise, this area is the same. That lantern's still over there, but you can't get back up this way. So you don't want to go do that. After that, we are now swinging on down to the bottom. Now for some more chunks where we met the nun, and there should be more beasts. Lots of souls down here, or excuse me, echoes, as you're noticing. This is our prison. This is where we originally started. Go all the way down. I notice another bag man with more chunks, which that should put us, what are we at? Five, three more. Three more to put our weapon up to plus nine. We're still a ways away from getting our blood rock. To be fair, we could push for an early blood rock, but it's not like it's needed. Um, let's see, make an exit out the left door. Okay. We got on time, we're looking good. I think we can finish this whole area up this episode. The boss fight's pretty easy. Alright, so that is all of the cathedral covered. Now we need to cover the stuff that's outside. So we're gonna exit out this door here on the left hand side. And we're going to run this way. Um, we're going to go up, kill the Bell Maiden, and then get the previously inoperable elevator. So we will run this way. Go up here. Um, that is... I think this is... No, this is the elevator, but there are some enemies down here. The Bell Maiden for these guys is just up ahead. Just taking them out. And we have the elevator here. We'll get this. This gives us a shortcut to this area. This is the elevator at the very start of this zone that I pointed out earlier. Uh, and there's also, this also serves as a shortcut to the boss. If you notice, we can actually walk off the elevator right here. Uh, but we're not going to do that for now. We're going to finish up this upper part of the zone for the time being, and then we'll work our way and do that in a little bit. Just making y'all aware of it. Alright, so, this next part can get a, a little tricky. Try rolling onto this. You'll notice there are a bunch of fugly looking things. Uh, now if we have enough, let's see, where are my Molotovs at? I think I have a couple. Yeah, what we are gonna do here is I wanna try and lure these things all over. Just get them right over here with this guy, and then we're gonna try and Molotov them all. Just because it's a lot of... These enemies can be very, very aggressive. Um, it basically, you don't want to drop down and fight them. It's very easy to get overwhelmed. So we're going to do what we can from above with Maltovs. Got to aim it right. Alright, that's most of them. And then we're going to drop down this way. And we're going to wait by this thing. 
see, the enemies will run into these pyres and basically nuke themselves. There are a few enemies that I, uh, I fear in Bloodborne, and these are, are one of them. I think he's stuck. Basically, it's just, it's really, really easy for these guys to overwhelm you if you're not careful. There's also one that would typically pop out of this carriage when you went past it. Oh god, he still popped out. I thought I stabbed him. Did not, <laughs> not expect that. Alright, back to the pillar. Yeah, come, come to the pillar. Okay. Uh, if you didn't get the Tenitris, it's in that corner. Go back to the episode titled uh, Hypogene Jail and follow along and get all that loot. Alright, so we killed the gang, we lured him to the pyres. Uh, the one lone piece of loot is a casket man ambush, which we picked up. I'm returning, look to the right for a casket man guarding chunks. two chunks. Alright, now with all of them done, now we are ready to proceed down. So our elevator is over there. Uh, this can go down here. We're gonna be skipping that one casket, man. I'll be bringing y'all, well, I'll bring y'all on over to him, but we're gonna be taking the shortcut here. So get up to ride it, and then we're gonna get off about halfway here. And the shortcut is actually in the middle, but first we want to kill some stuff here. So run and hit this dog first. And then there's this dog. And then there's a Skitters that's already hauling ass. Probably not gonna be able to catch him. Maybe I can. Yes, I can. There we go, the chunks, and then a beast. I believe he's guarding a chunk as well. There we go. Chunk, got some pellets. Um, let me see. Two dog skitters, beast get chunk, and now we are taking the shortcut pool. So right in here, this is actually the shortcut to the boss. So just to map it all out, from the initial spawn, we take the elevator, we hop out, we would run on over here into this room, stand in this little pool bath thing, hit inspect, and then it'll warp us on over to where the boss is at. All right, upon spawning in, very first thing we're gonna do is go straight over here to take out the bell maiden. to drop on down and get some loot. This is still the shortcut path to get to the boss. The boss is uh, right down there, just so y'all know how to get back here in the event that we die. Uh, but instead, run along this wall for a madman's knowledge, and then we're gonna go across the street in the back corner for more madman's knowledge. Lots of little things kind of tucked away in this, this fight. Well, not this fight, but this zone. You know what I mean. Okay, now we're going to work our way up the street, killing the casket men one by one. And there should be a rune on the right. Uh, this is actually a great time to get a free buff. of Ludwig while being two-handed. I love it. Nice gems. Uh, of course, if you're struggling, you can use this to, to stagger them. 
Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. When you see a new casket man on the right, go left into the building. So, yes. When we see that guy, instead, we're going to take it this way. Um, we're going to have a dude and a beast to fight, which I'll rebuff real fast just to have a little extra oomph. Oh boy, not good. Oh my god! Holy shit. I have not been pressured like that for a long time. This guy is weaker to fire and serrated, but I don't feel like using a fire paper. Oh, all of that awarded us with the Tempering Damp Blood Gem. I don't know why this thing keeps donging. Dong, dong, dong. Anyway, um, so after we kill them, we run on up. Another one of these guys. God, I hate you. All right. Oh my god. Right, grab this. Uh, this connects to the pool. There's our pool. There's the path we ran to get the lady. So then we're gonna run this way. Take this guy out. Finds a cold blood. And this guy over here. Let's see, up top for another beast. Kill Gunner, pop out near the casket man. And then if we were to continue this way. There is the final casket man right there. Those are the long ass stairs and the cathedral and all that. So we have come full circle on this zone. I have come this far. I'm killing you before I continue. Uh, now from here, we got a lot of echoes. If you want to go level up, feel free to. With that being said, this boss is not hard. This is a gimmick boss. It is very, very easy. Uh, we are going to be fighting the One Reborn. Now, we just recently did the walkthrough for Demon Souls. And if y'all remember the Tower Knight, uh, this fight is literally based off of the Tower Knight. It's almost copy-paste the Tower Knight. So, very, very easy. Uh, this enemy is weak to bolt and fire. Uh, there is a summon to the left of the entrance right here. You're not going to need this thing. I wouldn't bother with a summon. It'll just inflate the boss's health. Uh, instead, right at the start here, just run on over this way. There's going to be a cutscene. I'll actually play a little bit of this cutscene because it is pretty dope. This is one of the better cutscenes in Bloodborne, I think. There's not many cutscenes I'll keep, but this one... It's like the moon turns into an egg. Anyway, so that big old thing falls out of the sky. We're going this way. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. All right, there we go. That was the riskiest part of the fight. There, head on up. And there's a couple bell ladies. We just want to kill them.
There'll be three bell ladies on each side. Looks like a single R2 is enough to take them out. Grab some bullets. Uh, the reason we're killing them is, as opposed to the Tower Knight, uh, they will actually heal him. So you gotta kill them, otherwise it's just gonna be a exercise in frustration. So after we've done all that, um, Lightning Paper, or Flamethrower... Oh. Okay, asshole. Alright, he's doing some, some damage here. A plunge attack probably wasn't worth it, but that's okay. So he'll do some stuff, um, honestly though, just, just kind of sit under him and whack away. This fight's not really challenging. Um, he'll do like a puke thing that you need to avoid. He'll yell a bunch. For the most part, you can just stand here and just kind of beat on him, you know? Like, like as, you, as you can all see, we're not, you know, we're not doing anything here. We're attacking, and the rally mechanic is allowing us to get back any health that we lose from his little droppings or whatever. And beyond that, it's just beating away at him. There's the puke. Probably the the only thing that's like an actual risk in this fight. Very loud explosion. For that, we get the yellow backbone, and we are all set. So, uh, from here, we go to the lecture hall, but we're going to close things out here, wrap up, and go spend all of these echoes. So, in the next episode, we have the lecture hall, and then we'll be getting started on Kanehurst Castle, which is kind of a bonus hidden area that's actually pretty badass. So, either way, stay tuned, and I will catch you all soon enough with more Bloodborne.